Welcome to this episode of the Counterman Education Center. In an earlier episode, we discussed EPAS, or Electronic Power Assisted Steering Systems. If you remember, there were three basic types. Just to review, they were column mount, electric hydraulic, and electric rack and pinion. The important thing to remember with all these systems is that they are much more complex than the old hydraulic pressure assist systems. While they all allow for many more safety and integration features, this complexity brings with it many challenges on the repair side. As a counterperson, you have the difficult job of monitoring warranty and returns. You know your customers and their capabilities. In the case of EPAS systems, there are several key things you need to consider when working with a potential return scenario and your customer. Let us look at the most overlooked items. First, always read the description and operations section in the service manual first. No skipping this one. Take a look at this example from a Ford Flex. This level of detail in system operation leaves a lot of room for overlooking system characteristics. This is just one example of the level of documentation available for these types of systems. Next is the proper test equipment. Does your customer have it? Maybe a sales opportunity for you, but for now, suffice it to say, if they don't have it, there is no way to really know if there is a problem with the part or not. Here are some of the necessary items to accurately test these systems. A DVOM, or digital volt ohm meter, current indicator, battery load tester, scan tools, and the ability to factory flash program parts to be accepted into the system. Without these tools, it's impossible for anyone to do the following diagnostics. The use of a systematic diagnostics is crucial. A repair facility needs to follow these steps. Verify that the battery is correct for the vehicle. Without the proper battery, there may not be the required amperage available to properly operate the system. Check its state of charge. Just like the correct battery, it needs to be at a full state of charge. Again, without this, the system may not operate or test properly. Check for corrosion. The green death will cause the same problems for the transfer of needed current. Clean those terminals. Look for loose connections. Loose connections cannot transfer current or signals at the required rate. Check poor grounds. Errant codes many times can be caused by loose or corroded grounds. In today's vehicles, there are many systems grounds. Check them for voltage drop, test power, and the grounds themselves. Just because a connection or conductor looks good, test it and be sure. If these systems don't have the correct voltage and amperage, they will not test or operate properly. These systems are very advanced. Some have built-in protective programs to save components. Some limit current to the pump when there is an issue. This is done to save the pump from overheating. If a shop does not catch the problem, the pump will be returned as defective when it's actually doing its job. Lastly, many of the newer systems have integration to the ADOS system. ADOS is the new collision avoidance technology that is appearing in more and more vehicles. Obviously, steering of a vehicle plays a big part in these systems. So if equipped, the ADOS system needs to be properly calibrated and updates when servicing the EPAS. Warranty situations are probably the most difficult ones out there for counter professionals. Who wants to tell their customer no? Following these steps and helping your customers understand these systems can go a long way in strengthening your relationship with them. 
Thanks for watching and until next time, happy selling.